Hey yeah, guys, it is Imogy Caitlyn Savior as I stand and fight Im or known as Imogy Caitlyn Savior Alice Savior. Of course, you probably know that. The good witch of the Let's Play community. The good witch of I stand and fight and the good witch of the saviors of the Savioress. And now to be known as the Nightmare Diva. Anyway, so, um, for probably those of you who probably, um, this video is gonna be about, this is gonna be a completely different video. Um, uh, this is basically going to be talking about the, the next chapter that I'm going to be, that I'm going to be putting for this, uh, for my channel, and how this could affect it, um, and what could be impacted by it. Um, but anyway, um, uh, to be known, um, the reason why I'm going to be known as the Nightmare Diva, anyway, by the way, um, if you guys, like, I know I'm going to try to explain as much as I can in here. But if you guys still have questions and would like to know the you know, what you want to know why you, you just don't want to like no like you want to ask me something that probably wasn't even answered in the video then you are welcome to ask me in the comment section and I will reply to your comment I will answer your questions and please don't hesitate to ask because I don't bite I'm a very kind person so just let me show that otherwise yeah. <laughs> But anyway, go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, talk about. Well, I like guess I, like I was saying the nightmare divas thing. Um. Well, okay. I'm gonna explain this. It's it's going to sound kind of weird, but I kind of have it. I kind of explain it in the way that maybe you guys might understand it. That can also like be like can also show that this is like how this could impact me. Um. As far for the nightmare diva thing goes, um. And if I end up, you know, well, whatever. I'm not telling you guys. Uh, you guys probably know the drill. But anyway, um, if you, oh my god, where was I? The Nightmare Diva. Okay. I really just, it's awkward when I just lose my train of thought just right in the middle of my sentence. And I'm just thinking, what am I talking about now? <laughs> but anyway, anyway, um, the Nightmare Diva thing, um. It's basically a new chapter for me, um, to where, you know, and it's not, like, literally, like, nightmare, like, I could bring terror to anybody here, because I would never do such a thing. But, what I will, it's just more like a darker way of, the darker step for a savior, in my opinion. In my own personal opinion, at least in my, at least in my world, so it comes to an even darker world when it comes to entering my world. But anyway, um, so which means gameplay could be impacted because that means, like, the games that I'm gonna be playing will be, like, something that really, that I feel very strong about, that I really like a lot, and that also, that it's good, and so, uh, like, at first, I was just like, okay, um, yeah, the big thing that's the obvious one is no, no Mario games, because it's not gonna... That's not gonna do me any good. Um, no Lego games at all, which is gonna be much. I know some of you are a little disappointed, but um, I mean, you probably get, you probably know some of the more sillier let's plays that I that I would do, uh, which they would be uh, would be I think the Minecraft and probably every once in a while probably the Clever Bot and Eevee stuff. That, those two things are going to come a lot less often now, so, so, um, you might be seeing, like, like, at least two week gaps in between, like, sets of, of, uh, both Brawl Mania and my solo Let's Play, and, um, possibly for the next, vict and then probably for the upcoming Victoria's Secret, Minecraft, that'll be in that same position as well. So, you're gonna be seeing the sillier games a lot less often, which I know that seems a little bit, uh, sad, but, I don't know, not sad, it's not really the word that I'm looking for, but it's more like, kind of sounds pretty deep, but, I mean, this is kind of how, how it's gonna affect it, it's like, that's just, uh, one thing how it's gonna affect, and the other thing that it's going to affect will be the, um, my commentary as well, because 
I think my commentary will go to a more serious level. And of course, I don't know if you guys probably know this, um, but I don't know. Lately, like there are just games where I just literally cannot sit still, and I get super jittery and I'm excited and I get anxious a lot. So you're gonna probably be seeing that a lot, a lot more often now. Uh, um, and I, so, so you're probably seeing my comments, hear my commentary go a little bit more serious. So when that happens. You know what I mean. But um, the only games that uh, will be an exception to that will be the Minecraft and then the Cleverbot EV stuff. Um, which I know I ha there hasn't been a video for that in a while. I just haven't really been in the motivation to do it. Um, I know you probably guys might have liked it so much. But I just, I don't feel it in me. I just don't feel it yet. Um, I'll probably do it when I feel like, when I feel most, most comfortable to do it. Most of my conversations with it have been quite interesting and rather dark off-screen conversations. So, yeah. I think, um, but anyway. Um, next thing I, uh, well, I'll go ahead and go back to the gameplay because I swear I have quite a bit more stuff to explain. I wanted to go ahead and then jump right into the other thing. Otherwise, I would have forgotten and that would not be good. Um, the next thing will be, uh, like I said, the gameplay will be, um, basically affected by that. Um, so, like I said, it's not gonna just be games that I enjoy, but also games that really, that really seem to fit about who, seem to fit who I am and to fit, like, what, and what my channel is all about. Um... Yeah, um, so, like I said, obviously no Mario games, but then when it comes to the, to the next step, which is to me, uh, to be really good, you might think, oh, maybe, uh, maybe, uh, Call of Duty's good, but, okay. But now here comes the next part, is if it, like, completely has a good impact on me, like, basically. And what I mean by that is that is if there's, like, a real hero or a heroine. I can't pronounce, I don't know if it's heroin or heroin, I don't know. Um, you probably know what I mean, not like the, that drug thing, I'm talking, you know, that, the female hero, is basically what I typically am. Um, if you, um, which that is another, uh, concept for this, so if you, um, for that, so... Um, the Call of Duty stuff would be out, because I don't really consider that having, like, a real hero. It's more just random people killing each other. I know, it sounds weird, but it's just my personal opinion. It's what I think is a he it's who I think is the hero, and who can really, really stand up and fight and be able to be- to do this bravely. So, some of the examples of, like, that would not be in there, would kind of not be in there, would be- uh, Call of Duty, like I said, um, Half-Life, I don't think that will work either. Um. I don't know, I'm trying to think of something else. That would be in there. Because I know I said Call of Duty and Half-Life. Um. I think maybe Team Fortress 2, so... Yeah, yeah, that's not gonna be it either, cause you probably, cause then you can't really identify so well on who would be the hero and who would be like, the, the enemy, the enemy of the hero. Um, so the games that would be like the good examples of that would be, um, some of the good examples would be a uh, Final Fantasy, um, some of the Star Wars games. I'm not talking Legos because. Legos is more like a sillier kind of game that you could go off and boom around and all that stuff. Um, Batman Arkham Asylum, which is, I am currently doing a Let's Play on. I'm excited. It's a great game, people. I highly recommend you go. You should go check it out because I think the game will be like the best game you've probably, one of the best games you've ever played in your life. Borderlands would be un under, that, under that good category as well. Surprisingly, I know you might be surprised I might be saying Borderlands will be cool because... Well, I think I could see it a lot more. 
I could see it like more. Um, Batman Arkham City, Batman Arkham Origins, uh, basically all the WWE games because um, I don't know. There's always like a hero and there's gonna be a villain. So the and so and there are specific terms uh, in the professional wrestling terms because the hero is the face, K face or baby face. So yeah, hero is the face. Um, and the, and the, the villain would be the, would be the heel. Um, and I'm not talking like, don't be a heel thing. I'm talking like, it's a, like, a heel would be just a, a professional wrestling term for a villain. And, uh, some of you guys might be like, what is that about? Like, you probably, you're probably thinking, what the heck is she talking about? But, <laughs> if you watch WWE then you'll probably get the idea. You'll probably get the concept of it. So, yeah, there always is seen to be, like, a real hero in the WWE. So, yeah, a lot of those games. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront, the Star Wars Battlefront series, definitely, because I can see it a lot more. It's definitely easy for me to identify and all that stuff. Um, Did I say Final Fantasy games? Yeah, I did. It's, I mean, because you're, I mean, there's is a hero... That you could see that well. And that's also the game's good. So. Yeah. Um. And I believe another one could be Killing Floor. It could be another one. Because the zombies would be like the here Would be the villains basically. So. It's quite easy to see it through there. But. <laughs> and what would another one be? Trying to decide, trying to think about things from, like, the top of my head. And, yeah. That'll be interesting. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know, other than that. Um, also, if you guys are, like, wondering, hey, maybe World of Warcraft or RuneScape... That's not going to be part of that, because, I don't know, a lot of people do do play War uh, World of Warcraft, um, and, like, and then Guild Wars, and that kind of stuff. I don't, I don't, and RuneScape, I don't play those games, so, yeah. Anyway, um... This has been quite an amazingly quite of a long video, I'm surprised to say. Um, so if you guys have, like, any questions that probably didn't get answered as far as, like, this whole... Well, should I explain more? But also... It's kind of like the new, darker chapter me. Like, it's ready to be unfolded. So I'm also going to be known as Imogy Caitlyn Savior the Nightmare Diva. Or Imogy Caitlyn... Savior, uh, Alice, Savior, the Nightmare Diva, as well as, well, the Good Witch, the Lesbian Community, all that stuff. Um, so yeah, I know it sounds pretty complicated for you to follow, but if you still have questions you would like to ask me about any of that, don't, please, please, please don't hesitate to ask because I will answer your questions. Um, it's some, um, some questions may be a lot more complicated to answer, but I will do it in the best of my ability, because as of right now, I just, I mean, it just came up to me, it just came to me yesterday, uh, no, not yesterday, just really late last night, like, almost 12 o'clock, and, uh, yeah, yeah, in case you didn't know, yesterday, um, at least for us, fellow Americans, and probably other countries that celebrated or something, had Thanksgiving, uh, although I do know Canada had theirs, um, last month in October, so. And today's Black Friday, the one day I absolutely dread because it's like, because you see all the shoppers and then you see like all these people who get run over and possibly might have even gotten unconscious because they get run over so much, which is the bad things I've heard about that, so. Yeah, so anyway, enough of that, so if you kind of get this new dark side stuff about me, you probably, yeah. And like I said, if you have questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Anyway, I am a Midget Game and Savior, so I stand to fight, and I'll see you guys next time.